as we even talk about being 50. And I think about and reflecting on being 50, we are the generation, we are the first generation to ex have our full rights as citizens. And what you realize is a lot of the generation before, my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, a lot of their dreams are packed into us who are 50. Now, Mara, you guys spend a lot of time celebrating turning 50 here at the Women of Power Summit during your panel. Um, why do you feel and how are you embracing this new stage in your life? I'm embracing it because I'm here. I still have a lot I want to do. Um, it started the journey to here was fear driven, meaning I didn't, I want it to be great at 50. And then as I'm approaching it, like, I'm like, oh, okay, you're doing pretty good. And, I, and I'm checking my energy source. You still have a lot. Oh, the goals are still, um, they're still big and lofty, but yet attainable. Um, so I'm getting my second wind. I'm enjoying, um, I'm enjoying the presence of it. I'm enjoying the being of it. I'm enjoying the challenge of it. I feel like society puts so much pressure, especially on women oh, um, with God. age. Tell You're me not about supposed it. to look your age for some reason. But what is the best part about getting older? I say this with love, the f it of it all. <laughs> I just, hey, I, it's interesting. When I decided to go on my gray hair journey, it was from a practical um, reason to do it. But there was a lot of fear in, especially the industry that I'm in, imaging, and, and we, we are an industry that tells you, that literally tells women it's time to go out to pasture, you know, and, and on and behind the camera. Um, and it was a challenge for me. But to present myself and, and, and just, because if you keep yourself together, you can kind of fudge, you know, black don't crack, you can try to say, oh, maybe she's still in her 40s, or early 40s. I think Gray says, oh no, she's, of a, a certain age. And I'm saying, hell yes, I am. And I'm still badass. I'm an Instagram user. And I noticed I wasn't posting pictures of myself in real time. And I wondered why was I doing, you know, uh, TBT post and, you know what I'm saying, all these other, why, what, what, what was that about? And I had to pause on that and ask, why wasn't I posting it? And I was afraid. I was afraid of, of what you're just talking about. Am I going to be put out to pasture, but then in that moment, you realize you've given your power away to someone else. I determine when I go out to pasture. I determine when I, whatever I do. Mara, what does being a woman of power mean to you? Being a woman of power means peace with where I am right now. I think most of my life, I've been running toward or trying to outpace whatever or get to a goal. Um, and now I've accepted that's, I'm gonna do that. I need to be at peace wherever I am in the race of life or the journey of life. Um, you touched upon your Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, which is always lit. You're always sharing your life experiences with us. You've been sharing a lot too. Um, you know, we've seen some of your pictures, you know, on the beach and it, it's stretch marks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, those. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that because I mean, the beauty of that yes. is also something so powerful. Are you being intentional or are you just saying, hey, I feel like posting this picture and I don't care how I look. It's not touched up. It's not edited. Um, both. Sometimes what leads you to being intentional is that urge to be, to say, I don't care. But I also take that pause to make sure that's my authentic self saying that and not my ego-driven self or my competitive self or my trying to prove something self. I think the reason why Instagram for me is great is because I'm using my gift as a writer to, to, to put in context my own picture. Because I could have posted that same picture and just been like, it's hot out here, you know, which could have had its own re fun reaction. But to contextualize it as to why I did it, it for myself, it released a lot for others. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm happy about that. I'm happy to be used in a service in that way.